Hey guys, this is Redline XI, and today I'm in a 2008 Nissan Altima 2.5 SL, and yesterday I discovered kind of a, I don't know what I would call it, a issue maybe, and it has to do with the anti-lock braking system, and the Xtronic continuously variable transmission on this model, and basically what happened as I was driving home yesterday, someone stopped, stopped short at a yellow light and there was almost a six car pileup. So full anti-lock braking and stuff. So then I wanted to try out again, just test my brakes, see what it was like. And I remembered, I saw a video a couple years back featuring a Nissan Versa with the same CVT transmission. And when he stopped and went directly to throttle, it would just hover around 2,000 RPM and it wouldn't accelerate swiftly or like normal where it would jump up to about 4,500 4, RPM as it normally does in the CVT transmission. So I tried it and it was true. This did happen and it kind of like, I don't see why. And it's just an issue that I wanted to see if I could address on camera because the, the previous video, if you find it, is shot on a kind of low quality uh, cell phone camera and there's a lot of naysayers saying, oh my Nissan didn't do that and blah blah blah. But then I tried it and it did, so who's to see? So we're going to go try it out, alright? Okay, now as you can see, there's n this car's stock, nothing wrong with it. Transmission acts like a normal CVT would, kind of you know, increases RPM and then as the belt rotates around, it reduces it since there actually is no set gear. So I just want to show, you know, that I don't, like, you know, I'm driving right now, there's, I'm not doing anything, my emergency brake is not on, you would see the little light. That one, if it was on. So, really, this is real life testing here. You know, I'm, I'm not jacking around just to make a video. Okay, so, sorry about the sunlight. Once I go around this corner, I'm probably gonna speed up to around 40 miles per hour and just full on brake. If there's no one behind, I don't see anyone. And once this car gets past. And I'm gonna go wide open throttle, see if it happens. Okay, it breaks. Throttle. Throttle. So it took a couple seconds it looked, at least two or three before it delivered normal wide open throttle. So I mean it's not as bad as you think, but still when you plant your foot firm on the gas, you know, you go wide open throttle, you don't expect it to be, you know, waiting around a little bit. So I don't know, it's something to look into I think. but. Just wanted to show you that, you know, I'm still driving. My foot, my dead pedal, foot's on there, have not used a brake. Instant, back to gas. So there you go. I hope this shows people more about the issue that this XT, or <laughs> CVT transmission may have. So, just gonna do one more acceleration run. is perfectly fine eh, just a little weird thing so I don't know if anyone else had the same problem or has tried this on their own Nissan Xtronics continuously variable transmission equipped vehicle let me know I would like to hear so thanks for watching this has been Redline XI